hello welcome back to my channel lomzi souls welcome to the second day of this so along with me project so i decided to make this oversized shirt project and i wanted it to be a sewing for beginners so i decided to divide it into four so we have the pattern drafting for the body's block the pattern drafting for the sleeve the pattern drafting for the collar and also the cutting and the stitching of this oversized shirt so i just want to take it one after the other so that beginners will be able to follow up mm -hmm. with this project in the last tutorial we made the sewing pattern for the shirt today we are going to be making the sleeve if you have not been following this sewing project, I'm going to drop a playlist. I'm going to make a playlist after I've uploaded all the tutorials. I'll make a playlist and I'm going to drop it in the description section of all the videos so that you'll be able to follow up. So that whenever you want to watch the full video, you just click on the playlist and you'll be able to watch the video. I would like to use this opportunity to thank all my returning subscribers and all my returning watchers. <laughs> and if this is your first time coming across my channel, consider subscribing and turn on your notification yes. bell icon. And please, guys, welcome to my channel. Please, I want to beg for something. Please, I'm just asking that you like this video comment drop a comment in the comment section and share this video out this is the only way that youtube will know that this content is good and it will push it out to other people just imagine as a fashion designer and you make a clothes that is very nice appealing to your customer and your client refuses to recommend you to her other clients you will feel so bad right that's how it feels when you don't drop comments on our comment section, you don't like, and you don't even share this video to your sewing community. This is the only English and the only thing YouTube algorithm hears. When it sees people sharing out the videos and dropping comments, just engaging with the video, it will know that people like this, and thereby they will now recommend this video to other people. Please, I'm begging, please share this video out to your sewing community, be it on WhatsApp, YouTube, on Facebook, Pinterest, just press that share button and it will show you all the places you can share this video out to. I'm begging please, just for this one time, thank you. So guys, before we start this tutorial, I would like you guys to note that this procedure we are using to make this sleeve is not the same procedure or pattern drafting for other types of sleeve. This is for this particular oversized shirt. So note that this sleeve pattern is for this oversized shirt. You cannot use this method to make um, for close fitting type of dresses. If, if you want a one piece sleeve block, I have that on my channel. I can drop that for you. That is for other types of dresses and sewing patterns. But for today, we are using this method for this oversized shirt. So note that before you confuse it. Let's start with this sewing tutorial. In the last video, I made how to draft the bodice pattern. Today is how to draft the sleeve pattern. And we're going to be using this bodice pattern to draft that. So for us to draft that, we're going to take the measurement of the armhole curve. If you have watched the last video, you will know that this one is the back of the sleeve and this is the front of the sleeve. So to make the sleeve head, we are going to take the measurement of the back armhole cuff. So you are going to take round from this place like this. Since this is where we are adding the sleeve to, so you are taking the measurement from here to here. Remember this is the back if you watch that video. If you have not watched that video, make sure you go and watch the body's pattern so that you follow with this video. So I'm going to measure from here to here. So what I have here is 12 inches. That is what I'm going to use to draft the sleeve. So to get the sleeve head, this is the neck depth. So from this neck depth down to the armhole, we are going to divide that by two. So if you divide this by two, this is what you will get. So you add one cm to that. So I will add one cm to this. So whatever I get from here to here is 5.5. So that's what I'm going to be using for the armhole 
length I'm the, so that's what i'm going to be using to draw the armhole length so i'm going to square out 5.5 inches here So this will be the sleeve head. Next, from here to here, we're going to get the length of the sleeve. So the length of the sleeve I'm using is 23 inches. I'm going to mark it here and I'm going to square that out. So I'm going to measure out that 12 inches that we got from the armhole curve. I'm going to mark it. So I'll connect this like this. I'm going to divide this into two and I'm going to mark the sleeve head. Just divide it into two, whatever you get. That's where you're going to draw the sleeve head so i'll just come down like this like 0 0.3 or 0 0.5 you just come down like this and you're going to come over like this to mark the sleeve head For the wrist, you're going to get two third, whatever you get here. I make two third of it, and that's what you're going to make here. So I'll mark that here. In my own case, it's 7.1, but I'll make it 7 inches, and I'm going to mark it here. And then I'm going to connect it to this line. So this is it for the sleeve. This will be on fold and you're going to cut two pieces of this. So now we have the body's pattern and we have the sleeve pattern. So in the next video, I'm going to be making the collar. They all look simple, but you know, <laughs> it's a sewing project for beginners. So we have to take it step by step. So this is for the sleeve and this is for the bodies. I'm going to cut this out. So we have both the front pattern and the back pattern. Also we have the sleeve pattern. Guys, we have come to the end of today's tutorial. In our next video, I'm going to be cutting out the collar. And next one, we're going to be cutting and sewing these shirts. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah.